Since the subject of today's segment is vasectomy, uh, with your permission, Daddy Brad, there's just a couple things I want to just get out of the way. Go right ahead. Ejaculation. Sperm. Erection. Daddy Klein. Penis. Just give me a second here. <laughs> Testes. <laughs> Vas deferens. What are you doing, man? Just, you know, I want everybody to have a little chuckle, okay? So we can move on with the segment, all right? Dude, do, 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 <laughs> do you think words like jism and erection are funny words? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm laughing. I can't do this segment because I'm laughing. You need to watch more primetime TV because the commercials these days, all urological. Uh, oh, so people are they're used to that stuff. Mm -hmm. How about smegma? Now, smegma, that, that's a funny word. But you know, when it comes to vasectomies, the most disturbing words are clipped, snipped, and fixed. Now, while those words are upsetting, they're actually completely appropriate. Because as we all know, vasectomy is simply a fancy medical term for having your balls cut completely off. <laughs> I don't think that's the way it works. Well, that's what they want you to think. <laughs> but really, they're, they're after your nuts. <laughs> they're not after your nuts. You keep your nuts. At least I think you did. Implants. So basically, uh, a vasectomy is a 10 minute procedure. It's done here in this very office of mine. We often do it on a Friday, so that way man can have his vasectomy done in the afternoon, take a half day off from work, recover over the weekend, and back to work on Monday. What we do is we usually give our patients a mild sedative, so it kind of takes a little bit of the anxiety out of the equation. We then use a numbing medicine to make a small little numb area on either side of the scrotum. After that's done, we make a small incision about the width of your pinky, so a little tiny incision. Through that incision, we lift up the vas deferens. It's about the width and dimension of a piece of spaghetti. Uh, we place two titanium clips on either side and then remove a segment in between those clips. And then we repeat and do it on the opposite side. The discomfort is minimal, um, so we have to use minimal sedation. Walk right out of here. We usually have your wife or girlfriend or somebody take you home, and, uh, and that's the, the entire procedure. So, they don't actually cut your balls off? No. What happens if the doctor just slips? Just a little, just a... Dude, they use really tiny scissors, not a scalpel. Huh. And when they're done, you don't have any problem, you know, to use the technical term, pop a boner? <laughs> no, you can still achieve an erection after a vasectomy. And how about the baby batter? Does it all settle down into your scrotum and make it like blow up like a grapefruit or something like that? Baby batter? Nice, dude, nice. No, no, a vasectomy does not affect the amount or the color of your seminal fluid. Hmm, well, if this procedure is so simple, straightforward, maybe we should get some close-ups, hmm? Daddy Troy, roll that ball sack footage. I cannot believe this. I am father of realism and I refuse to be in this silly show. Get me off. I mean, turn that off, Smegba. Really, you should be ashamed. Now, despite all the queasiness that guys may feel, a vasectomy is a safe, permanent, and effective method of birth control. And if you're married, it prevents your wife from having to get a much more dangerous and expensive procedure, a tubal ligation. It also allows her not to have to take birth control that might be less effective or have negative side effects. In other words, it's a great Mother's Day present. You might get some action too. So if you're considering this procedure, there's a few things you should probably think about. To debunk a lot of the myths, uh, there are three main ones. Number one is, will I have orgasms still after a vasectomy? Uh, yes, if you had them before, you're gonna have them afterwards, okay? So orgasms do not change. Number two is, uh, what about my ejaculate or my ejaculate volume? Uh, will that disappear? Uh, that's not also another big myth. So ejaculate and ejaculate volume will not change. Most of that volume, believe it or not, comes from your prostate and it's not sperm. So 99% of it is actually just a prostatic fluid. So you'll still have that after the procedure. Third is, will my erections be changed different or anything in any which way? Again, if you had good erections before, you're gonna have good erections afterwards. Nothing changes outwardly. If you're one of more than the half a million American men that choose to have a vasectomy each year, drop us a comment and let us know why. Yeah, what went into the decision? So that's all for us here from the Dad Labs. Did, would you get snipped? Well, I mean, you know, I'd consider it something you gotta talk with the wife. Um, how about you? <laughs> you kidding me, dude? No way, it's <laughs> crazy. Dude, we just did a whole segment about how it's like safe and it's okay, and you, but no, you would never do that? <laughs> no way, man. Woo.
Why not? It's insane. It's just it's what they make little Jimmy hats for. <laughs> Jimmy, Jeez. Jimmy hats? Yeah. It's a vasectomy. It's just that one. Didn't you watch it's the segment? It's a knife and your balls. I mean, I know what this script said. I know what this script said. Don't, don't, you can't say cut on this segment. <laughs>